早晨，歡迎大家翻翻嚟。我 learn with Tom Lee 嘅教室，亦都係 A level 嘅數學 mathematics。今堂繼續第八點二節 ，using trigonometric identity with parametric equation。We look at the definition. You can use the trigonometric identity to convert trigonometric parametric equation into Cartesian form. In this chapter, you will always consider angle measure in radians. 我哋可以將一個 trigonometry 嘅 parametric equation 變成一個 Cartesian form 嘅 equation。我哋亦都考慮到個角度個計法應該係用 radians， 即係弧度嘅計法，多過用角度嘅計法。我哋開始睇一啲嘅例子。A curve as parametric equation x equal to sin t plus two, y equal to cos t minus three。咁你記住 x 同埋 y。暫時冇任何關係，只係同 t 有關係。然之後我係將 y 變成一個 function of x， 將個 t 係 eliminate 拎走咗佢。而家 t 係 belong to r， so that a Cartesian equation of the curve x 減二嘅 square 加比 x 加三嘅 square 係等於一。B hence catch the curve x 等於 sin t 加二，所以 sin t 係等於 x 減二。而 sin square t 就係 x 減二嘅 square，y 係等於 cos t 減三，亦即係 cos t 就等於 y 加三。咁 cos square t 咧就會係 y 加三嘅 square。我哋將呢個 cos t 同埋 sin t substitute into 一同埋二，我哋就會得出 sin square t 加 cos square t 就係等於一。咁之前我哋證明咗 sin square t。加 cos cos t 係等於一嘅，之前嗰幾課，呢兩個相等，我哋將 sin t 係等於 x 減二，代翻入呢條式，就會係 x 減二嘅 square， 加 cos t 係等於 y 加三，所以係 y 加三嘅 square 就會係等於一，亦即係我哋證明咗呢個係等於一嘅。Hence sketch the curve， 而家我哋 sketch curve， 咁呢個 curve 啦，你會睇到啦，因為係係。一個 equation， 如果係 x 減 a 嘅 square 加比 y 減 b 嘅 square 係等於 r 嘅 square 嘅時候啦，呢、这、一個其實係一個圓圈嘅 equation， 個 c e n t e r 就會喺個 a 同埋 b 呢個位作為一個 c e n t e r 個 radius 就係 r， 咁呢個 radius r 啦，即係個 radius 係一，我哋喺個 c e n t e r 二同埋減三，呢個係二，呢個係減三。二同埋減三呢個位啦，即係 x 係二 ，y 係負三呢個位啦，作為個圓圈嘅 c e n t e r 畫一個半徑係一嘅 square， 即係半徑係一嘅一個圓圈。呢、这個圓圈啦，就係呢條 equation 嘅 path 嚟咯。我哋睇睇第二條嘅 example。A curve is defined by the parametric equation x equal to sin t, y equal to sin two t， 而 t 就係由負派。Over two, 去到 pi over two. Find the Cartesian equation of the curve in the form y equal to f x. X 係由負 k 至到 k. 然之後我哋揾個 value of k. B write down the range of f x. The f x 嘅 range， 因為除咗我哋揾佢個 domain 之外啦，我哋亦都揾 f x 嘅 range. 如果 y 等於 sin 二 t， 亦即係 y 等於兩個 sin t、cos t 之前喺 double angle 嘅時候咧，我哋係證明咗 sin 二 t 啦，係等於兩個 sin t、cos t， 亦即係二 x、cos t， 因為 sin t 就係 x， 所以係二 x、cos t。如果我係 take square sin square t 加 cos square t 係等於一 ，cos square t 係等於一減 sin square t， 亦即係等於一減 x square。咁 cos t 將會係 square root 一減 x。我係將呢個 cos t 等於 square 一減 x 代翻落呢個位，我哋就會得出咗 y 等於二 x square root 一減 t 呢一條嘅 equation。但係我哋而家要揾嘅就係個 x 嘅範圍。你會睇到如果 t 係由負 pi over two sin x 啦，就係 sin 負 pi over two， 亦即係負一。而 t 係等於 pi 除二 ，sin pi 除二就係等於一。亦即係 x 啦，係由負一去到一，所以我哋就會揾到呢一個嘅 domain，x 係由負一去到一。
亦即係由負 k 去到 k， 咁 k 當然就會係等於一。B 呢一條，我哋揾個 range of f(x) 啊 ，f(x) 啦，就係呢條式嚟嘅。個 range of f(x) 啦，好明顯啦，就係 y 係由負一去到一嘅。因為如果你代 t 係由負 pi over 二去到 pi over 二嘅話啦 ，y 呢個範圍咧應該係由負一去到一。咁呢個就係 f(x) 呢個 range 嘅範圍係由負一去到一嘅。做咗兩條嘅例子，跟住就係一啲 exercise， 我會同大家一齊做嘅，就係、是、由第三條嘅 A、B、C、D、E、F 啦，去到第四、第五、第六同埋第七條嘅 challenge 嘅題目，大家一齊攞紙筆同埋計數機，我哋一齊開始做數啦。Question number three: Find the Cartesian equation of the curve given x equal to two sine t minus one. Y equal to five cosine t plus four. T is within zero to two pi. We got x equal to two sine t minus one. So it's two sine t equal to x plus one, and sine t is equal to x plus one over two. Cosine square t. Is equal to one minus size square t. So cosine square t is equal to one minus x plus one over two to the square. So cosine t is equal to square root of four minus x plus one to the square over. Four, of course, and it is equal to half of square root four minus x plus one square. Therefore, we got y is equal to five times cosine t multiplied by half four minus x plus one. Square plus four. This is equal to five over two square root four minus x plus one square plus four. We want to find the domain and the range. So when t equal to zero, when t equal to pi over two, and when t equal to Pi x equal to minus one, x equal to one, and x equal to minus one. If when t is equal to three pi over two, we got the x is minimum equal to minus two minus one equal to minus three. So when t equal to two pi, x is equal to minus one. So Therefore, we got the domain is x is less than or equal to one greater than or equal to minus three. That's the domain, and the range is that, and the range of this equation is y is less than nine and greater than minus one. If we put T from zero to two pi into y equation here. We got the y minimum is minus one, and the maximum, this one should be going to one, so it's nine. So we got this equation here, and the domain is from minus three to one. The range is from minus one to nine. Question B, x equals to co. Side t y equal to side two t, and t is from zero to two pi. We got y equal to side two t, so y equal to two side t cosine t. So y is equal to two x side t because cosine t is equal to x here. So cosine t is equal to x. And then we 
have sine square t equal to 1 minus cosine square t. So sine t is equal to square root 1 minus cosine square t is equal to square root 1 minus x square. Therefore, we got y is equal to 2x multiplied by psi t. That means multiplied by square root 1 minus x square. And the x is from minus 1 to 1. Of course, it's the less than 1 is not equal to 1. And y is greater than minus 1 and less than 1. This is the domain and the range of this equation. Question 3c. x equals to cosine t and y equal to 2 cosine 2t. Two t. t is from 0 to 2 pi. So y is equal to 2 cosine 2t. Two this means y is equal to 2, 2 cosine square t minus 1 is equal to 4 cosine square t minus 2. So y is equal to 4x square minus 2. Since cosine t is equal to x and cosine square t equal to x square. We know that cosine t is equal to x, cosine square t equal to x square. So we substitute cosine square t equal to x square into here. We got y equal to 4x square minus 2. The x is from 1 to minus 1, and the y is from minus 2 to 2. Question 3d. x equal to psi t, y equal to tangent 2t. t is from 0 to pi over 2. We got y equal to tangent 2t is equal to 2 tangent t over 1 minus tangent square t. And tangent t is equal to psi t over cosine t. Equal to x because psi t is x over square root 1 minus x square. Because the cosine square t is equal to 1 minus psi square t. So cosine t is equal to square root 1 minus psi square t equal to square root 1 minus x square. So we substitute into this cosine t here. So we got y is equal to 2 tangent t over 1 minus tangent square t is equal to 2 times x over square root 1 minus x square over 1 minus x over square root 1 minus x square to the square. We expand this all out, we got 2x over square root 1 minus x square multiplied by 1 minus x square over 1 minus 2x square. That's, therefore, we got y is equal to 2x 1 minus x square over 1 minus 2x square multiplied by square root 1 minus x square. And x is from 0 to 1. y is from minus infinity to infinity. We got the Cartesian equation and the domain and the range as well. Question 3e, we got x equal to cosine t plus 2 y equal to 4 second t, and t is from 0 to pi over 2. We got y equal to 4 second t is equal to 4 over cosine t. And cosine t is equal to x minus 2. Therefore, we got y equal to 4 over x minus 2. And x is from 2 to 3, where y is from 4 to infinity. Because we substitute this from 0 to pi over 2, 
into y and into x here, we got the domain and the range of this Cartesian equation. Question 3f. x equal to 3 cotangent t, y equal to cosecant t. So y equal to cosecant t equal to 1 over psi t. And cotangent t is equal to x over 3. So cosi t over psi t is equal to x over 3. Cosi squared t over psi squared t is equal to x squared over 9. And then we also get 1 minus psi squared t over psi squared t is equal to x squared over 9. So we got 1 over psi squared t is equal to x over 3 to the square plus 1. We take the y square here. So we take y square is equal to 1 over psi square t. And psi square t is equal to this equation. So we got y square is equal to 1 plus x over 3 to the square. And the domain of this Cartesian equation is x is from minus infinitive to infinitive because t is from 0 to high. And the ring y is from 1 to infinitive because it's, the ring is the inverse of the psi t. So the minimum value should be 1 and the maximum value should be 10 to infinity. Question number 4. The curve C has the parametric equation x equal 8 cos t, y equal 1 over 4 secant squared t, and t is from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2. Find Cartesian equation of C. So we got y equal to 1 over 4 cos t square t and this is equal to 1 over 4 because cosine t is equal to x over 8 so cosine square t is equal to x square over 64 so we got cosine square t is equal to x square over 64 here and this is equal to 1, this one is cancelled, and the x equal over 16. So y is equal to 16 over x squared. And the x is from 0 to 8. Because we substitute minus pi over 2 and pi over 2 into the cosine t here, we got the x minimum is 0 and the y minimum so the x minimum is 0 and maximum is 8 and this y is from 1 over 4 to infinity because it's the inverse of the cosine square t here so the minimum value should be 1 over 4 and the maximum value should be 10 to infinity here 4b sketch the curve on the appropriate domain. So we got the domains of this x equal 8 cosine t, y equal 1 over 4 secant square t. We got y is equal to 16 over x square in the previous a part. We sketch the graph we using the x coordinates from 0 to 9. We got all this thing here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. This one's of course 0. This is the y and this is the x value here. So the minimum values of this is y is from 1 over 4 to infinity. So y, the minimum is 1 over 4. Let's say this one is 1 over 4. The minimum of y is this line here. And then when um, 
the T value is going up, when the X value is going up, you can see this, the, when the X value is going up and up, so this value is nearly to 1 over 4. And the X value is turning down here, going to 0, X value going to 0, Y should be going to infinity. So we, we have the curve like this. Of course, the Y minimum should be here. This one to this point, right? Okay, because the x is greater than zero, less than eight. So it's less than eight to this point. So this point should be eight and one four. Question five. A curve C has the parametric equation x equal one first of psi t y equals psi 3t, and t is from 0 to pi over 2. Show that the Cartesian equation of the curve is given by y equals ax multiplied by 1 minus bx squared, where a and b are integer, to be found. So we have y equal to psi 3t, and equal to psi 2t plus t. So we expand this out, we got psi 2t cosine t plus cosine 2t psi t here. Psi 2t is 2 psi t cosine t cosine t plus cosine 2t is 1 minus 2 psi squared t multiplied by psi T. We have 2 psi t cosi square t plus psi t minus 2 psi quick t. So we have 2 psi t. This one is 1 minus psi square t because it's the cosi square t expanded out plus psi t minus 2 psi quick t. So it's equal to 2 psi t minus 2 psi quick t plus psi t minus 2 psi quick t. So it's equal to 3 psi t 2 psi t plus 1 psi t is 3 psi t minus 4 psi quick t. This is equal to 3 psi t multiplied by 1 minus 4 over 3 psi square t. Because we have x equal to 1 first psi t here. So psi t is equal to 3x. So we got psi t here, so psi t is equal to 3x, so 3 times 3x multiplied by 1 minus 4 over 3, 3x to the square. So we got 9x multiplied by 1 minus 12x squared. And written in the form ax1 minus bx squared. So a is equal to 9 and b is equal to minus 12. And b is equal to 12. You got this form equal to y. Question b state that the domain and range of the fx in the given domains of t. Of course, the given domain of t is from 0 to pi over 2. We substitute into x and y. So we got y equal to 9x multiplied by 1 minus 12x squared. The domain of x is from 0 to 1 third. 
because x is equal to one third psi t. So the minimum, maximum values is one third, and the minimum values, of course, is zero, because t is from zero to pi over two. And the range of this equation, this is the domain, and the range of this equation is y is greater than minus one, less than or equal to one. This is the range and the domain of this Cartesian equation. Question number six. So that the curve with parametric equation x equal to two. Question number six. So that the curve with parametric equation x equal to two cosine t, y equal to psi t minus pi over six, and t is from zero to pi, can be written in the form y equal to one fourth multiplied by square root twelve minus three x square minus x and x is equal to minus 2 to 2. We've got y equal to psi t minus pi over 6 is equal to psi t cosi pi over 6 minus cosi t psi pi over 6. Cosi pi over 6 is square root 3 over 2 psi t Psi pi over 6 is half cosine t. Because we know that the psi t is equal to square root 1 minus cosine square t. And x is equal to 2 cosine t. So cosine t is equal to x over 2. x square is equal to 4 cosine square t. Cosine square t is x square over 4. And psi t is equal to square root 4 minus x square over 4. We substitute psi t and cosine t into this equation here. So we got y equal to square root 3 over 2 multiplied by psi t. This is psi t square root. 4 minus x squared over 4 and minus half cosine t. This is cosine t, is x over 2 here. Multiply it out, we got square root of 12 minus 3 x squared over 4, minus x over 4. We take the 1 fourth out, we got square root 12 minus 3 x squared minus x. This is what we want to prove y is equal to this equation here. And t is from 0 to pi. So when t is equal to 0, x is equal to 2. Because 2 cosine 0 is equal to 2. When t is equal to pi, x is equal to 2 cosine pi is minus 1, so it's minus 2. So the x domain is from minus 2 to 2, when t is from 0 to pi here. Question 7 is a challenge question. If we have the curve C is given by the parametric equation x equal to half cosine 2t, y equal to psi t plus pi over 6, and t is from 0 to 2 pi. So that the Cartesian equation for c, 4y squared minus 2 plus 2x to the square plus 12x squared minus 3 is equal to 0. We got x is equal to half cosine 2t, so it's equal to half 2 cosine square t minus 1, so it's equal to cosine square t minus half. This is the x, right? And we solve for y here, so y is equal to psi t plus pi over 6, so it's equal to psi t cosine pi over 6 plus cosine t psi pi over 6. 
cosine pi over 6 is square root 3 over 2 sine t plus sine pi over 6 is half cosine t. And this is equal to half taken out. We got square root 3 sine t plus cosine t here. We take y square, we got 1 fourth to the square root 3 psi t plus cosi t to the square. We got 1 fourth 3 psi square t plus 2 square root 3 psi t cosi t plus cosi square t here. Got y square is equal to 1 fourth multiplied by 3 psi square t plus 2 square root 3 psi t cosine t plus cosine square t. And we take 4y square is equal to 3 psi square t plus 2 square root 3 psi t cosine t plus cosine square t. If we got 4y square minus 2, we got 3 psi square t plus 2 square root 3 psi t cosine t plus cosine square t. Because it's minus 2, so it's minus 2 psi square t and minus 2 cosine square t. So we have psi square t here because 3 minus 2 is psi square t plus 2 square root 3 psi t cosine t minus cosine square t. How we get it is because cosine square t minus 2 cosine square t is minus 1 cosine square t here. And we have 4y square minus 2 plus 2x is equal to psi square t plus 2 square 3 psi t cosine t minus cosine square t plus 2 cosine square t minus 1. Psi square t is 1 minus cosine square t plus 2 square root 3 psi t cosine t minus cosine square t plus 2 cosine square t minus 1. 1 minus 1 come to 0 and 2 cosine square t minus 2 cosine square t come to 0 again. So we got 2 square root 3 psi t cosine t for this 4y square minus 2 plus 2x. And we if we have 4y square minus 2 plus 2x to the square, we got 12 psi square t cosine square t. We got 12 1 minus cosine square t multiplied by cosine square t. So we got 12 cosine square t minus 12 cosine 4t. Up to here, we solve one of the part. It's equal to this one. And if we have 12x square equal to 12 multiplied by cosine square t minus half to the square because this one is x, right? And then it's equal to 12 multiplied by cosine 4t minus cosine square t plus 1 over 4. Multiply the 12 into this bracket, we got 12 cosine 4t minus 12 cosine square t plus 3. So if we have 12 x squared minus 3, we got 12 cosine 4t minus 12 cosine squared t plus 3 minus 3. It's coming out, so it's got 12 cosine 4t minus 12 cosine squared t. And all together, we put this one and this one all together, we got 4y squared minus 2 plus 2x to the square plus 12x squared minus 3 is equal to this one 
here is this one here. So we got 12 cosine square t minus 12 cosine 4t. And this one here is equal to this one here. So we add 12 cosine 4t minus 12 cosine square t. So this one is going out, this one is going out, so it's equal to zero. We have proved it. So this question is a very challenging question, and you get, and if you get through this, you are very good. Muchas gracias. Again, thank you very much for listening to my tutorial videos. And if you need a pilot tutors for you to get a better mark or better score in your DSC examination in Hong Kong, the SAT examination, or just you want to improve your mathematics and English for your college and university study, please contact me at chingtom929 at yahoo.com.hk. My telephone number is plus one eight five two six five nine two eight six zero nine. 好多謝大家收聽我呢個 video。如果你係希望你個 mathematics 同埋你個英文係更加好嘅話咧，你想要一個 private tutor 啦，你可以隨時 contact 我嘅，令到你個 DSC exam 啦，或者你想考 SAT 啦，你亦都可以 contact 我，因為我都有一啲私人嘅補習喺呢一兩方面嘅。多謝大家 ，thank you， 拜拜 ，muchas gracias。